Vice President for Finance and Acting Vice President for Academics, Father Bernard Abrasado, Vice President for Administration, Father Joey Ruega, SVD, our Campus Minister, Father Danny Francia, who is not here, Department Deans and Principal of the Basic Education, the President of the Father Rixner Alumni Association, Dr. Rene Colocar, our former Deans of Academic, Academic Affairs, Dr. Violeta Vega, and Dr. Florida Leoterio, faculty members, DWCC employees, my SVD confers in Calapan District with the SVD novices, parents, our dear students, guests, good morning to all of you. Isa pong pagpupugay ang una kong nais sambitin para sa inyong lahat. Sa pagpapanatili sa Divine Word College of Calapan bilang nangungunang paaralan sa lalawiga ng Oriental Mindoro. Ito ay hindi pansariling pananaw, kundi isang pagbubuod ng lahat ng ating pinagdaanan at nakamit sa nakaraang anim na po at pitong taon. Lubos kong ikinagagalak ang patuloy ninyong pagsuporta at paniniwala sa Divine at sa lahat ng adhikain nito para sa inyo. Ngunit mas malalim ang aking kasiyahang nadarama sapagkat sa kabila ng mga di may iwasang hamon Naririto tayong lahat ngayon upang ipagdiwang ang bunga ng ating pagpapagal. Waking up in my room, a sudden thought pierced through my mind. Today is a big day. I reached for my notes, stood by my window, pulled back the curtains, and had my eyes fixed on the entirety of this institution from that view. Today is a red letter day. I smiled at the realization that this place I've called home for 13 years is far more different from its old form and how it stands today is way more uh, appreciable than how it did six decades ago. Ago. Like most of you, I always make sure that I live today. I speak the language of this generation, wear socially accepted fashions, laugh with the noble forms of humor, eat the foods of this age, but with greater regard for health benefits, do what digital natives do, such as surfing the net, Logging in on Facebook, watching videos on YouTube, reading, reading a number of e-books, and most importantly, wielding the instrument and new systems that this time has given birth to in performing my role as your president. As the captain of this ship, I should ensure the security of my men, the comfort of my passengers and most of all the certainty that that we will reach our destination but don't worry i never forget to give myself a break once in a while pahinga rin pag may oras while taking a sort of a respite i was brought back down the memory lane and made to recount bits of the not-so-old a history. That's so fitting as today is also a moment for
for recollection, revisiting, and reminiscence. Sa pagbabalik tanaw na iskong iorganisa, ang aking alaala sa apat na pangunahing pagpapahalaga ng institusyong ito bilang bahagi ng mas malaking institusyon, ang SBD. Una ay ang kahusayan o excellence. Pangalawa ay ang pagpapalawig ng pananampalataya, ang pagpapalawig ng salita ng Diyos o evangelization, evangelization. Pangatlo ay ang gampaning panlipunan o social responsibility. At ang pangapat, integridad o integrity. Kababanggit ko lamang ng aking taus-pusong pasasalamat sa inyo mga estudyante at sa inyong mga magulang dahil sa walang sawang pagtangkilik sa DWCC. Pinatutunayan ito ng patuloy na pagbabago ng paglago ng ating populasyon. Mula pa noong taong panuruan 2010-2011, kung kailan nagtala ang college department ng 2,888 enrollees. 2,953 noong 2011-2012 at 3,058 noong lamang nakaraang taon. Sa patuloy na pagsalakay ng iba't ibang hamon sa ating buhay, hindi ko inakala na sa taong ito ay bubulusok pa ito sa bilang na 3,252 students. Ito po ang pinakamalaking populasyon sa loob ng labing dalawang taon. Sa basic education naman, mula sa bilang na 784 noong 2010-2011, naging 851 ito noong sumunod na taon. Noong school year 2012-2013 naman, nagtala ang basic education ng 981 Enrollis. At ngayong taon, lubos ko pong kinagagalak na ibalita sa inyo na narating na natin ang isang libong higit na marka sa pagtatala ng DWCC <laughs> ng 1,085 students. At sa kasaysayan, ang kasalukuyang taon ang may pinakamataas na bilang ng estudyante ang naitala ng basic education mula ng mailipat ito sa Prina Dimitz Campus. Palakpakan po natin ang bawat isa sa atin para sa ating mas lumalaking pamilya. Our enrollment system also saw the biggest transition from the traditional to the latest in academic management system. A couple of years ago, we adopted the online enrollment system By purchasing software from from Pinnacle Technologies Incorporated, any transition, however, has to go through hurdles, and ours was no exemption. This giant leap, which was reluctantly accommodated by some of us, proved ideal for this modern era. We needed to move forward my DWCC family. We needed to outgrow and leave the old system and proceed to a new phase where the things that we, that we needed to do would be done with greater accuracy, speed, and credibility. This was what happened. What used to be a series of going upstairs and downstairs Hopping from departments to offices has been reduced to only few steps. You can now keep track of some of your academic records by going online and accessing your own accounts. Your grades are just a click away. You can even extend classroom sessions by messaging your professors and instructors through the same medium. This is what DWCC is about. 
positive changes in going ahead with time. Our niche in the education circuit has been secured by our achievements in board and licensure examinations. I don't think there is still a need to reiterate the laurels that Jose Limuel de Maunahan or Heide Libed and Roy Andrew Garcia have added to our archives. Every year, it becomes a standard, a challenging standard. Our CPA passing rate, for one, have been demonstrating remarkable results. 76% in 2010-2011, 83% in 2011-2012, and 80% in 2012-2013. Congratulations, Accountancy Department, for constantly proving that in this region, our accounting education is tough not to crack. My well dance also go to the education department by forging an upward trend in its licensure examination for teachers. Our secondary education graduates had an annual average of 25% in 2010-2011, 28% in 2011-2012, and 36% in 2012-2013. On the other hand, our, our BE Ed graduates listed a dramatic increase of 33.12% from 16.08% in 2011-2012 to 49.20% last year. Same goes to the engineering and architecture department. For hitting the mark by listing an 18% markup from 31.67% in 2011-2012 to 50% last year in the Civil Engineering Board examination and a marked difference in the last two years for its ECE graduates from 45.84% to 61.67%. Hats off to three, these three departments for working hard for these exploits. I will not dare ignore, however, the efforts and perseverance of the other departments to fulfill their own vision. I am no stranger to how your faculty and deans collaborated to design and craft the best activities for you, students. You all deserve a big hand. Ngunit hindi pa rin pahuhuli ang ating basic education department. Pagdating sa kahusayan at pagkamit ng karangalan, sa katunayan, uubos ng napakahabang oras kung iisa-isahin ko ang nakamit ng ating elementary and high school students sa iba't ibang rarangan. Hayaan niyo akong banggitin na lamang ang kabuuan ng kanilang mga natatamong kadum Hayaan niyo akong banggitin na lamang ang kabuuan ng kanilang mga natamong tagumpay. Sa Second City Division Mathematical Festival, isa sa mga nangunang paaralan ang DWCC. Hindi rin tayo nahuli sa larangan ng palakasan sa ginanap na Kalapan City Private Schools Athletic Association. Ang ating mga batang manunulat ng The New Horizon at ng Kidi Horizon ay nagpakitang gilas sa ginanap na Division Schools Press Conference kung saan marami sa kanila ang nag-advance sa Regional Schools Press Conference sa Tagaytay. Sa Sipnayan, kilala rin ang galing ng Basic Education Department kung saan ang ilang mag-aaral natin ay nanguna sa MTAP Division at nag-qualify sa Regional Finals. Malaking bahagi sa mga tagumpay na ito ang pagsisikap ng mga guro at empleyado ng Basic Education Department 
sa pangunguna po ni Dr. Fedelita ng Batak. Congratulations po, Dr. Fe. On behalf of all of you, I would like to pride myself on the fact that our reach has gone far beyond national borders to institutions overseas with the same goals as ours. Our linkage with the Guizhou Minzu University in the People's Republic of China is an annual opportunity for DWCC to share best practices and for cultural exposure. This tie becomes stronger each year as we welcome new batches of exchange students from Guizhou Minzu University and let them learn in our academic environment. This year, GMU sent another batch of exchange students composed of Sunjing or Katrina, Bu Yang Bu, please stand, Bu Yang Bu, she is here, si Susan, Zhang Bing, Elisa, Zhang Wang Wei, Emma. And of course, this morning, we also have the latest uh, Mandarin teacher volunteer. Uh, we know that last year we had Ting as our Mandarin teacher in basic education. Now we have Kathy. And we are also honored to be part of other SVD institutions because we are taking care of preparing the other two volunteers for the Vine World College of Bangued. Uh, we have Martin. And we have Wendy Zhu. Wendy. Locally, we have been constantly establishing linkages with different organizations for different purposes. I would like to commend the efforts of the External and Alumni Affairs Office, most notably the, the Director, Mr. Don Stephenson Calda, for his persistence in bringing in programs such as ABS-CBN's Bayan Mo e Patrol Mo and Smart Globe and Sun Mobile Communication Facility. DWCC, in its trust for more accessible education, formed partnerships with local colleges and institutions, such as those with John Paul College in Rojas for the MAED Outreach Program, the Diwa MAED Program, and the most recent with M. Louillier Pawn Shop and Remittance Company for the Easy Payment System. I am also elated to make this announcement that our new programs have already received government permits and recognitions. Thus, you are rest assured that our aim of leading you towards the right direction is concrete and feasible. Our Bachelor of Science in Criminology has been granted recognition effective July 5, 2012. Palapakan po natin ang criminology. Our Bachelor of Science in Architecture, July 11, 2011. And Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, June 6, 2011. Values Education as an additional major as Bachelor of Secondary Education has also been approved. There are also additions to our graduate programs as such as the PhD in Educational Management and PhD in English Language have already been given recognition. For these graduate programs, I would like to commend the Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Corazon Morilla. Palakpakan po natin si Dr. Morilla. Ngunit sa ating pag-unlad bilang isang institution, 
hindi natin kinakalimutan ang ating mga dakilang guro. Sa katunayan sa taong ito, ay binibigyang bisa natin ang bagong TEE implementation magmula sa 80%. Ito po ay gagawin nating 88%. Karagdagan po dito ang additional health benefits na ibibigay din sa kanila. Itataas din po natin ang rate ng overloads ng mga teachers. Itataas din natin ang rate ng ating mga part-time teachers. Hindi lamang po ito bayad sa inyong serbisyo. Ito po itaos pusong pasasalamat sa kanilang patuloy na paglilingkod sa DWCC. Mabuhay kayo, mga guro. Maraming taon na nating sama-samang pinagsisikapan ang pagtataas ng estado ng ating institusyon at sinisigurado ko sa inyo na ang pagod ng mga empleyado at mga guro, gayon din ng mga administration at administrators ay may tsak na pinupuntahan. Ang paasko, ang nakatalagang accrediting agency sa DWCC ay ipinagkaloob na muli sa atin ang Level 2 Accreditation para sa ating Liberal Arts and Business Programs na epektibo mula June 25, 2012 hanggang May 2015 at sa Education Programs naman na may bisa mula December 2012 hanggang November 2015. Kung pagiging university lamang ang ating hinahabol Marahil noon pa, sana ito. Subalit ang binibigyan ng higit na halaga ay ang kalidad ng edukasyon. Kaya patuloy tayong nagsisikap, mahaba man ang landas na ating tinatahak. I would like also to single out the achievements and, acad and academic pursuits of some of our faculty and for raising the bar of our own brand of education. Dr. Shirley Mendoza, DBE, the Dean of the Business Administration Department, was one of the speakers at the, at the China ASEAN Cooperation Week held at Guizhou University for Nationalities in China. She was also awarded the Diplomate in Business Education by the Philippine Association of Business Educators and elected lately as Director of the Philippine Council of Deans and member of the Board of Directors of the Association of Marketing Educators. Ito po ay national level. Mr. Jander Noel Gutierrez, a faculty of the Education Department, was sent to Washington, D.C., United States of America as part of the Philippine delegation in the Enactus or formerly SAIF World Cup on October 2012. Four of our faculty have just earned their postgraduate degrees. Dr. Joyce Lanuza, Dr. Federico Caballo, Jr., Dr. J.R. Banco and Dr. Ryan Claveria. Dr. Rosvelinda De Quiros, Dean of the Education Department, was elected President of the Philippine Association for Teachers Education, Mimaropa. And together with Don Stephenson Carla, was invited abroad to present papers. Palapakan po natin sila. These are only a few of what we have made possible in the recent years. And I'm sure in the years to come, our faculty force will be more than motivated to further their craft in modern educators, as modern educators. At this juncture, I would also like to welcome Sister Elaine Marie 
Difunturum OSB. Sister, where are you? Wala na yata si Sister. Sister Difunturum Elaine Marie OSB as an important addition to our basic education faculty force. Thank you, Sister, for choosing us. When I took office 13 years ago and served as part of DWC administration, I had this personal ministry for service that has only become stronger and firmer through the years. When I rose to presidency, I was even fueled to push such a personal devotion. Since the day I stepped into my office, I have been supporting endeavors to build a better environment that can be felt by our stakeholders, the students. You are witnesses to how we have brought our security measures to higher levels by installing 24 CCTV cameras in strategic areas inside the campus and adopting the turnstile, the turnstile student security system. We purchased two units of buses for your transportation needs in your curricular and co-curricular activities. We shelled out an amount to finance the construction of an ambitious badminton court on the top of academic building and the construction of the covered court in stage at the basic education department. On a personal note, I would like to congratulate your achievements as students, which in ways more than one changed the landscape of our studentry. The members of DWCC Varsity for putting us on top of the map on different turfs. The DWCC Gazette, the official college publication for securing our top spot in the field of journalism in the region and in the country. And just every student who represented DWCC in different competitions of varying levels for three years now, we have been staging the annual search for the 10 outstanding DWCC students or TODS or TODS. This aims to bring together students who display exemplary performance in their academic activities, extraordinary leadership abilities, and good moral standing. It is heartening to note that in the most recent selection, we found one notable student in the person of Mr. John Arno Sudaye, a Mangyan student belonging to the Hanunoo tribe. Ayan po si John Sudaye. Pwede bang tumayo uli si John? He rose above social circumstances and overlooked differences, and to top it all, believed in himself. Congratulations, Mr. Sudai. May you always be an inspiration to all DWCC students. Nakakataba rin po ng pusong isipin na hindi lamang tayo ang lumalabas at bumibisita sa ating institusyon upang sa ibang institusyon upang makita ang kanilang naiibang pamamaraan. Ngayon, tayo na ang pinupuntahan upang malaman ng ilan sa ating best practices at maranasan ng ating local brand of education. Noon lamang Abril, binisita po tayo ng ating mga kapatid mula sa Divine World College of Legazpi at nagtatanong kung bakit tayo ay palaging mas mataas sa national passing per percentage ng ating mga uh, examin examinees. Nung nakaraang linggo ay narito rin po ang Technological University of the Philippines para naman tingnan yung ating NSTP CWTS Best Practices. At noong dalawang buwan ang nakararaan, 
dumayo rin dito po sa atin ang mga taga Divine World College of San Jose. Nangangahulugan lamang ito na nasa tama tayo landas at ang ating pagsisikap na mapaayos ang ating serbisyo ay nagbubunga. Hindi rin po natin nakakalimutan ang ating tungkulin bilang isang kristyanong akademya sa pamamagitan ng patuloy na pagtupad sa ating mga responsibilidad. Taon-taon, ang DWCC po ang nangunguna sa pag-oorganisa ng Four Characteristic Dimensions Camp o 4CD Camp na naglalayong tipunin ang mga kabataan mula sa ating mga kapatid na institusyon sa buong Pilipinas upang pagtibayo ng ating kristyanong pananampalataya. Palakpakan po natin si Mr. Wendell Gaspan sa pangunguna po niya at ng kanya na ay iba pang volunteers. Ang 4CD Camp ay patuloy na nabubuhay at patuloy na ginagawa tatlong taon na. Nakakatuwa ring isipin na maraming estudyante ang patuloy na araw-araw ay dumadalo sa ating pong regular masses na isinasagawa sa ating school chapel at ang dumaraming divinista na lumalahok, nakikisa at nakikibahagi sa iba't ibang SBD activities. Nais ko pong batiin ang campus ministry office sa pangunguna ni Father Danny Francia kasama si Mr. Victor Estrada at kaakibat ang St. Arnold Youth Ministry. Sa inyong lahat, mabuhay kayo at salamat sa pagpapanatili ng ating imahen bilang tagapagtaguyod ng Kristiyanong edukasyon. In all our undertakings for excellence, we have never ignored the fact that our responsibilities with our people and environment are at the core of our existence. The mangrove rehabilitation efforts under the auspices of the Community Extension Office, with then the leadership of Father Roger Bagao SVD, with dedicated and assistance of Ms. Aime Bermudez and Mr. Rick Marasosena of the NSTP CWTS Office, has been fruitful enough to have been assisted by local government offices and the people of our adopted Barangay Wawa, Calapan City. This is our local contribution to the local drive of restoring our environment for posterity's sake. One of our ongoing endeavors for the same purpose is Banklase for Nauhan Lake Conservation, which thus far has been drawn closer to its concretization. Here in our school, we implemented a solid waste management and waste segregation program to boot to take part in the lessening of wastes in the city. The External and Alumni Affairs Office has been spending generous number of hours and has been going the extra mile to keep track of our alumni so that their success could be inspiration to those whose dreams are still works in progress through the ever-active Father Benito Rixner Alumni Association. Mr. Calda made history by giving birth to a school-based peso in DWCC for its for first of its kind in Region 4. He has also been persistent in pushing the goals of our local cable TV program, The No Holds Barred. This is a Saturday talk show that trashes our social issues in the province, especially those that concern our school and our students. My gratitude to Calapan Cable Center, to Mr. Uh, Kiming and Baby Chua for welcoming No Holds Barred and for allowing us perform our social roles. Some of our friends in the United States, in the Phi Kama Fraternity, 
have been with us also in extending a hand to our physically challenged kababayan by donating wheelchair units every year. I would also like to highlight the massive school campaigns that have been rolled out in different parts of the province that has helped us invite more students to entrust their college education with us. To offices and employees who have been with us in carrying out our roles, my heartfelt thank you to all of you. Way to go! As a constant growing academic institution, we have been optimistic in all our drives and steps toward success. In line with this, we saw the need for spousing changes. And one of these is the formulation of a new VMG a statement that will guide us in the generations to come. I stand before you today not only as your president, but as your servant leader. I am sharing not only stories of achievements for recognition, but success stories for inspiration. I am lucky to have been surrounded by many inspiring and positive people. You are not only a valuable support system, but very indispensable components of this leadership. Without you, this journey would have been more than exhausting and impossible. Without you, I would have been unable to create a vision for the future of this dream-driven institution. You made me push the envelope with our current undertakings, such as bolstering partnership with the DENR for our bank classe and strengthening our linkages with the Mangyan Heritage Center for Mangyan Museum. Naway ang pagbabahaging ito ng ating mga pinagtagumpayan ay mas lalong makapagpatatag sa atin bilang isang paarlang naghahangad hindi lamang ng ating pansariling ikaaangat kundi gayon din ng ating lalawigan at higit pa ng ating bansa. Thank you to all who believed in our vision, jumped on board, shared their invaluable ex expertise, and climbed with us up the ladder of success. All our dreams as an institution will always come true. Trust, trust me, it will come true by going the distance, by going beyond the ambit of our duties, and most importantly, by going beyond ourselves. Thank you and good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for the president of DWCC, Father Anthony Barafabella, SVD. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the DWCC hymn. Our rescue all and joyful. 